Hello, I'm Congresswoman Young Kim. I am in Silverado today with Chairman Bruce Westerman uh, of the House Natural Resources Committee. I'm really glad that you came down here to my district. This is where the airport wildfire broke out not too long ago, uh, spreading very quickly over almost 24,000 acres in Orange and Riverside counties. Um, so I asked the chairman to come so we can assess the damage and what more we can do in terms of bringing some help from the federal government. Uh, we started the day with a round table discussion, bringing the Canyon community leadership together so we can actually hear from them what they are uh, actually experiencing and what more challenges and what, what more help they need from us. And then we just finished with the helicopter ride to actually see it from the top, looking at the damaged area and assess uh, the next step as to what we can do in terms of uh, the next concern that we have is the mudslide. So what can we do to prevent it? Obviously planning, carefully planning and making sure that the communities uh, communicate well with the U.S. Uh, Forest Service and of course Orange County Fire Authority and so forth. So I'm just glad that uh, Chairman Bruce Westerman, you are coming out here. What have you seen? And I mean, it really puts everything into perspective, doesn't it? Yeah, Young, there's nothing like seeing it in person and you know, going up with Orange County and flying over the perimeter of the fire. Just such devastation. When you think about 23, 24,000 acres in one fire and we saw the foundations of the homes, you know, people's livelihoods have been greatly affected. Uh, the steepness of these canyons and knowing that the rains are going to come and a lot of the soil is going to end up in the watershed just it's it's heartbreaking there's really not a lot you can do to stop that from happening after the fire but like we've been working on through things like the fix our forest act we want to get these forests where they're not going to, to burn as severely on the front end and you know an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure that was said at the round table this morning it's good to hear input from local citizens i so appreciate you and bringing me out here and the work that you're doing to try to make sure that these devastating wildfires are, are mitigated in the future. Thank you. I know uh, as I was talking to the residents that live in this uh, Canyon communities, oftentimes they feel their concerns are not being heard. And we so appreciate you coming out from Washington, D.C. and your role as a chairman of the Natural Resources Committee is so critically important. I think our communities, the residents actually have heard that we are paying attention. And the Fix Our Forest legislation, which includes the Wirefire Demo Act, that uh, we're bringing the private entities utilizing those technologies to uh, detect and mitigate wildfires, hopefully in a uh, really, uh, ex you know, experienced uh, ways. I think that's gonna be really helpful. So I just wanna thank our um, Orange County firefighters, uh, US uh, Forest Services that have worked really, really hard for those almost two weeks. And now we're dealing with the aftermath of it. So. What can you tell our Canyon community and of course those who are affected by it? Give, some, give them some hope. Well, first thing I can tell them is that uh, their voices are gonna be heard when you're here in Congress uh, because you make sure that uh, we understand what's happening out here. Uh, you know, the, the hope is, is that we don't have more fires like this and we need to attack this from, from all angles. Uh, we need to make sure that everybody's working together and communicating properly and going forward again we want to prevent the fires before they stop or before they start and then get on them and put them out uh, quickly and the new technology and innovations like you're talking about in the demo act those are important ways to early detect and to suppress the fires quickly but you've got to have everybody working together to make that happen thank you